So, for Bravo Briatori, how do we feel about the return of this man, eh? I mean, obviously, the journal, a lot of people don't like Mr. Briatori, but it's pretty clear that the FIA decided what happened at Singapore is history, and I will admit, I don't like Flavio Briatori, but the fact is, you look at people like Christian Horner, Total Wolf, Papa Stroll, um, um, you know, the likes of Gunther Steiner, have all had to do things they didn't, that were not exactly what you would call morally correct or in the spirit of the sporting regulations. You know, we've seen uh, Ferrari many times do things like tell Rubens Barrichello to play the number two role, Kimi Raikkonen, Felipe Massa, or be the wingman. We've, told, to, we've seen Total Wolf tell Bottas to do the number two thing. You know, you've got to realise Formula Award, it used to have a nickname for the team principles. It was called the Parada Club. The Parada Club. You know, piranhas are a dangerous species of fish, or sharks, if you will. Correct me if I'm wrong. But the fact of the matter is, this is just pure hypocrisy. It is just. Especially from people like Karen Chandok, and of course, none other than Damon Hill, who had one head of a rivalry with Michael Schumacher back in the mid 90s. And of course, yeah, I get why someone like Damon Hill is outspoken against Flavio Briatori, since of course, Flavio Briatori was the team principal of Benetton F1 back in the 90s and subsequently team principal for the Renault F1 team that did won championships with Fernando Alonso. So from my own point of view, I also have a bias against Priatori, and I also saw none other than Jake Carter Fisichetta, one of my favourite drivers back in the day, suffer under his leadership. The F1 is not about playing fair, mate. This sport is ruthless. It's caught throat. All top sport is cut through, and with Alpine having told the likes of Laurent Rossi, Otmore Schaffnaver, Alan Prost, Cyril Beatable all leave the team for various reasons over the past five, six, seven years, I don't even remember, having booted drivers left, right and centre like Alonso, Hulkenberg, Sainz, Ricardo, Palmer, if you count Julian Palmer as an F1 driver, but I don't, um, Kevin Magnussen, F1 is cut through. It doesn't matter how good you were 10 years ago. It's about how good you are right now in this moment in time. You're not as good as your last race. You're only as good as what you're producing right now. And Flavio Briatori, despite being 74 years old, has proven time and time again he can make the correct decisions for the team when you give him a brief and some insight into the situation from a business point of view. Of course, Alpine are considering detaching themselves from the Renault engine program that is based in France, because, of course, the Renault engines are not delivering the horsepower they need. And it could well be, in about a couple of years' time, we could well be seeing Alpine go into an engine program partnership with someone like Honda, Audi, Ford, Ferrari, Mercedes, or anyone else you could think of. And I think Alpine are going to be moving on from the Renault engine program soon. And Flavio Briatori, in his advisor role, is going to play a huge role in changing the team soon. I think there's going to be some major sweeping changes with Esteban Ocon leaving the team at the end of the season. And I think Pierre Gasly, I think, secretly will be pleased about this. And I really do hope this yield dividend